What's up, guys? I, uh... I've got a lot on my mind today. Here, I'm going to show you a picture and see if you guys can see that. It's Preston in a hospital gown. Drinking the contrast to his IV. He uh, woke up this morning not feeling too good. And he's got a, a habit of crying wolf. He likes to stay home. Unlike Blair, Blair likes likes to be at school. Preston would rather be at home. He's got great grades, but he likes home. So here in the through the the school year, he's uh, excuse me. He's uh, complained to having stomach aches and stuff. So you know we let him stay home and and all that well he started it this morning and uh, he even threw up and Jen made him took his temperature and um, he his temperature was fine um, here he is asleep His temp was fine, so he got sent to school. He gets to school, the school calls. He's crying, wants to come home. They called Jennifer. Uh, she called me, and I went, no. You call him back, tell him to take his temp. If he ain't got a temp, he can stay at school. So the nurse at the school wasn't there yet because she doesn't get there until after school starts. So the secretary took his temp and he was fine. So he, they sent him to class. Well, he kept doubling over in class, I guess. So they sent him back. And then by this time, the nurse was there. And uh, she was feeling around on his belly in the right lower side of his belly, I guess. It was extremely painful. So which immediately made him think appendix. Or, yeah, I guess that's how you call it. So he, um, Jennifer left work, went and got him and took him to the hospital. The hospital did some blood work and it came back positive that his appendix could be having some troubles. So he had to drink a great big huge glass of that contrast. <clears throat> they gave him an IV and I guess he was heaving so hard at the hospital and doubled over so bad they uh, they gave him some medicine for the the nausea and they gave him some uh, morphine so <clears throat> he could rest he drank all that contrast and also the the nausea medicine to help him drink that contrast because that stuff's rough if anybody's ever had to drink that and uh, <clears throat> they wanted to do a CT scan to see if the um, appendix was uh, inflamed in that. And uh, they did the CT scan and it came back normal. But his stomach, there's some glands in your stomach the doctor talked to me on the phone <clears throat> and I don't remember what he called it but there's some glands in your stomach in the stomach lining that uh, uh, for some reason are in, uh, on him is inflamed and they're swollen which from what I understand is kind of separating the stomach lining or something so that's why it's so painful but they're still not ruling out the appendix so his appendix yeah um, so they're going to keep him at least tonight um, 
And if he does okay, and they're going to run some more tests and stuff, then he'll probably get to come home tomorrow. If not, they'll keep him again until they can try to figure out what the hell's going on. So Jennifer told him what <clears throat> about the past issues, you know, and that uh, that's making them look a little more because they're wondering if this isn't an ongoing problem or if his appendix is causing a problem, like um, like it's getting irritated or something, um, or the stomach lining, whatever's going on there. So they'll they'll keep him the night. Uh, I talk to him on the phone. Of course, he's crying. He doesn't want to be there. Um, he's uh, you know he's just upset. When you're eight years old, it's hard to understand why you have to fucking have all this shit going on. It um, it bothers me because of what I have to deal with and I um, I pray every day that my kids don't have to go through any of this bullshit like I have to deal with so you know that bothers me that he has to be in the hospital but I just thought I'd let you know I will be going over to the hospital here a little bit later and uh, I have to wait for Blair to get home from school and um, they'll get his room all situated and uh, get him. I'm, I only live about five, ten minutes from the hospital. And they'll get him all situated and uh, get, him, get him knocked back out, give him another dose of morphine and then Jen will leave and come get me. So I may have a long night at the hospital tonight, or Jennifer will. Somebody will. If I were to bet, Preston will want Jen there through the night. He wants me. It's weird how it works. At certain times, he wants me. And at certain times, he wants his mom. So uh, he likes me to be around when they're doing blood work and stuff like that because... Um, I guess I'm his dad, and I can remember when I was younger, I had to get some blood drawn, and I wanted my dad, and I guess it was because I felt that my dad could protect me from it, where, you know, where mom, I didn't think could, I, th I needed dad there, but maybe that's how he feels, I don't know, so I'm going to post this um, up. You guys, uh, <clears throat> say some um, prayers for Preston, if you would. And I'll bring my video camera with me when I head to the um, hospital. So, all right, guys, have a good day.